Hello guys and welcome to our next video about uh, concrete programming and today we are going to talk some uh, talk about some concrete patterns so what we want to achieve uh, as a result let me just run the code uh, yeah it you should notice uh, that the processed values are just processed by pairs. So we have four values, say we have a website and the four items, the shirt, shoe and ring, and we need to apply some discount to this shoe as shown. Uh, and uh, so we have a sale going on, the shoes are uh, half off, so we need to apply this um, discount, discount to the shoe. But it takes a second, and we don't want to wait a second. Uh, or we want to uh, process uh, an, uh, other items during this uh, uh, during this sleep or during this second. And this is called uh, the fan in and fan out uh, the pattern. Uh, and yeah, by the way, say uh, hello to the Donald, and I will put his explanation video in the description of this video. So as a base idea is. Uh, we have uh, the main routine and then we have uh, two extra routines fitted with uh, the channel of this item. So fitted with the same items, uh, these uh, two subroutines uh, applying discount and then send, uh, sending back uh, out to the, to the one channel and after that we are just processing this uh, discounted and other values of this uh, uh, combined channel. This is the idea, and let's see the code how it's actually uh, written. So we have item struct, it has price and category, and we have a function main, and we are generating uh, and returning the channel uh, through these items. The gen function just accepting uh, the items, range through items and putting back the uh, readed items, the out channel. Then we are returning the ch out channel. So C is channel. Then we are uh, running this uh, discount uh, function on this, uh, the same channel. So the discount is doing, uh, it has a go button inside. We're just uh, going through the uh, items channel uh, and applying the discounts and sending back the discounted uh, value to the <coughs> out channel. And then we are returning fr uh, from this channel. So C1 and C2 are both also channels. Then we are feeding this fan in function with these channels. Uh, the fan in uh, the function using here the weight group because we need to uh, process uh, as as appears so we need to wait so, somehow uh, this is uh, also the synchronization problem and it has some function uh, function type uh, and we are just uh, arranging over uh, as a past channel putting back the value uh, again to the out channel and we are running this as a go routine as well and we have two channels we are going through all of them so and as a result we are returning the out channel uh, and as a result uh, we are just processing through this channel and finally we have such things that we have feed uh, the same channel of the items to the different discount channels, then just combine them to the out channel and running through this out channel, uh, the result is as shown. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the idea what we want to uh, achieve with the Python async IO as well. So in the next video, we are going to write the Python code based on uh, our golden code here. Uh, yeah, bye and see you in the next video.